morning everyone i hope you're all doing well it probably might be the afternoon by the time you're watching this actually but um it's super early here today it's about half past seven on a sunday morning which is a little bit crazy <laughs> um but i was out yesterday and um i just needed some fresh air today this morning um my first sober hendo which was a little bit crazy so if you see me walking around a bit funny it's because i've got blisters all over my feet um i think my whole foot went in like feet went into shock yesterday so i'm not used to wearing heels anymore um so if you wonder why i look a little bit um like i haven't cared what i've looked like this morning i promise i have but um i haven't stepped into let's say my feminine energy in a very long time uh, and i was dressed up to the nines hair done makeup done so um i think i hit my fancy looking limit yesterday so we are in jeans my working trainers um and my nice slow sunday coffee cup t-shirt so um these are really great by the way if you ever need just really good t-shirts um p and co really great website um just super comfy but yeah so we're here nice and early this morning um treated myself to a coffee from starbucks as i didn't drink and i didn't smoke either very proud of myself um but yeah today there isn't too much to kind of discuss with you as i go around it's more of kind of just tidying things up neating in it up um tidying the shed up taking down the bean structure and kind of seeing what we can do with a new one or where things are going to go so i thought maybe today what we might do is almost like a, a little chatty video of kind of who i am really um or kind of what like my journey of having an allotment is because amazing news we hit a thousand subscribers and i honestly cannot tell you how much it means to me thank you all so much everyone that has subscribed liked a video commented on a video given me any advice um i really appreciate it it's so much i i just can't believe it that we've done it um i set a goal for a thousand by the end of the year and it is august so thank you all so much um, but with so many new subscribers since the beginning of the year, I thought it'd be really nice just to do a nice little chatty video, really. Um, so yeah, I think we'll crack on a little bit. And um, the first thing I do want to do is just quickly show you my squash patch because it's gone a little bit crazy. So you can see it's gone a little bit mad, really. Um, they're coming up so nicely. So I think these are the Tom Fox ones and I've got a couple more coming up on this. Um, and I've also got one coming up on the other side as well. But I don't think this is the Tom Fox one. I think this is something else. So we'll see when it gets to that. I've also got, where are they? Well, I've got my little baby pumpkins. These are the baby boo varieties. I've also got these Tom Fox ones. Here and here. And then I've got these ones, which just look so much fun. So I need to figure out what they're called because I can't remember. Very typical of me. And then I've got another one coming up here. I've just noticed. And here, but this one looks a little bit yellow. Oh no, it's going to come off. So okay, let's just take it off. Um, my courgettes have kind of stopped growing. So I don't know why. But, oh, yeah. I'll have to look, have a little look into them. And we'll see. But they look lovely. I'm really pleased with these. So yeah, plan of action is to take all of this down because it just doesn't work. Um, so we're just gonna remove it, I think. Um, I need to tidy up this bed, this side of the post, because I'm gonna get another lot in there. Take out the rest of the carrots because they should be ready and we do need some more now. Um, and then just give this a little bit of a tidy up as well. And then I may try and get in some parsnips for later in the winter season um i do also need to just double check on my sunflower as well whether i can that's ready to kind of come off but we'll see and then i just need to harvest all of my red ones they're doing really really nicely i know a lot of people i've seen that have been struggling to get theirs red but 
Mine seem to be doing okay. If they've been yellow for quite some time, I will take them off and put them on the windowsill. Um, but I look like I've got a good amount for today. Beetroot coming up nicely. Um, I have put these, by the way, onto just the back of, on the bottom of pots. Just try and keep them off the ground a little bit. So we'll see how that works. Um, but yeah. And then the other job to do is take this down. And if I've got time, I'm gonna try and cut all of this down. I do need to cut all the grass down as well. Cut all of this down and put the cardboard on top. Um, Cause I've got enough stuff that I can just put on top for now, hold it down and hopefully just keep some of these weeds down. Cause it does need a good tidy, whether I'm gonna put the polytunnel up or not really. last year really was a bit more of a kind of get it ready um, clear it up because there were a lot of and um, there was a lot of blind weed um, especially around the edges um, and just making it usable because the raised bed was so big that you couldn't actually reach into the middle of it and actually use them so um, I just kind of wanted to get it a little bit usable I am going to change it up again for next year, I think, um, and do it a slightly different way. I need to put some plans into place of how it will look and how it works. I don't want to do too much this year, um, but I feel like I've made really good progress. If you look back at previous videos, um, I feel like it's been really, really good. So when I took over this plot, um, I had done a little bit of gardening, but I hadn't grown my own food really. Um, and I do think, I didn't think there was much of a difference, but there is quite a big difference if I'm honest. Um, not in a way that you kind of still have the same enthusiasm, but um, the actual technical and knowledge side of it. It's very different. What I am going to go do as well is go through this and see if I can find any spots where I can get the seeds out and just harvest them. Um, just put back in the ground. I have done that with a few of the pods already. How would it work? I don't know, but what you will find if you are new here is that. I kind of just learn how I go. Um, I watch a lot of other videos as well. Um, and if I need to find something in particular, then I will just um, YouTube it or Google it. But a lot of times I kind of just have a little watch on YouTube when I've got a bit of time. Um, I'm just taking the knowledge as I go. So in regards to actually getting my plot, it took about two 
two years because um, I only moved to this town about five years ago um, and I put my name on the list just before Covid happened and then of course everything stopped, everything went into lockdown um, so the list didn't move for quite some time. I know some people have actually been waiting a lot longer than that um, especially if you applied after lockdown and um, after Covid but um, yeah two years was quite a long time to wait really um, when all you want to do is kind of you're in that mind frame to get started. Okay, so that's everything out. Um, I've taken all the posts out, taken all of the string off of them, and then I've taken everything out of the soil as well. What I'll do is when it's not so early, probably just before I leave, I'll go around and just stream around on this edge just to make it nice and neat. And then um, I'm not gonna put anything, kind of build any structure until next year now because I'm gonna put the end of the structure, this side of the um, Christmas, then I'm going to take this out and put this it that side then that should give me a really nice amount of room for as many climbers or different climbers I kind of want to do um and it won't block the light then because the light comes over this way so it'll get a really good bit of sun but it won't block anything if I put it in the, the middle supermarket workers by the way you did an amazing job um, I don't think I could have dealt with that craziness and um, just the way people brains went a little bit insane um, no common sense has been had was it really <laughs> um, so yeah I just thought well if I grow my own if anything does happen like that in the future again kind of on our way to self-sufficiency um, and the plan is hopefully when we're a little bit older and we can afford it we'll have a house in a bigger garden where we don't need to have an allotment to come to i can kind of go out and make it my part of my daily ritual um, so um yeah so self-sufficiency is definitely one of the main reasons um, i try and grow my own stuff as much as possible. Just with this, I know the cover is quite broken or it's broken down. It's just, it was given to me actually. Um, when I, yeah, it was given to me by my father and all when I, when I took over this, just as a thing to help me get through. So, uh, but the plastic is starting to break down a little bit now. We've, we've had quite hard weather actually this year in regard to, um, like winds and the rain so it's just making a bit of a mess really um, what I might try and do is just keep the frame and then next year I can put some of the blue scaffolding netting over the top 
I use it for um, my brassicas, even just to start them off and before I put hoops over them. So um, we'll definitely keep the frame. I'll see if he wants it back. And if not, I'll just get rid of the plastic cover, um, which is a bit of a shame, really. But if anyone does know of any plastic-free gardening places um, or equipment that you can get, please let me know because I can't believe how difficult it is to buy plastic-free stuff that doesn't cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds. There's obviously a reason it costs that much. Um, plastic, I'm assuming, is easy to um, produce. So. So I just need to quickly try and take some of this weeds out from the bind weed out. Bind weed is the bane of my life, I swear. Um, and also, if you ever do see me stamping my feet, it's because I have a serious ant issue at my foot. Um, they are just absolutely everywhere. Um, I don't really like to put chemicals down, so um, I don't really want to be putting any timber down. Um, I did have to when I first started just to be able to at least kind of like prep the ground because they were everywhere. When I say everywhere, like you couldn't move without being covered, your feet being covered in them, um, which is still the case. So I do stamp my feet quite a lot. Um, I don't, I don't get it, um, but yeah, so I need to get some more bits in this, the ground. I've got kale, carrots, chard, and more carrots, um, two different varieties of carrot by the way, not just the same one, um, but I'm going to try and do succession this time, so that when I pulled the carrots out last time, when I pulled them out, it obviously left the other ones exposed. Um, and I do worry about carrot fly, so um, I thought I'd do succession this time. A lot of people do think that I'm a little bit crazy because I don't wear gloves, <laughs> especially with the amount of outfits I do have. Um, I just prefer to have my hands on the ground. Um, so just a little kind of update on how like, the last two years have been going. Um, my first year, well, the first year was only seven months. Oh, seven months? No, nine months, should I say. Um, and the majority of that was from clearing. Um, and when I took it over, it didn't actually look that much. And then when I started, it was quite a lot of work. So um, unfortunately, I didn't get as much in the ground. And what I did get in the ground, um, we had a really hot summer. So unfortunately, a lot of it just scorched and died. Um, so this year, I was determined to just chuck stuff in the ground and get it in and kind of see how things grew. 
what it did mean though was that it wasn't planned and now suddenly I have loads of empty space um, and nothing to kind of put in so I am now trying to get stuff in so I have made I do have a notebook that I keep um, and any kind of like little lessons that I'm learning along the way I put in my notebook at the back so at the end of the year I can kind of go back and have a little look and be like right I need to do that um, next year and I'm hoping it will turn out a little bit better <laughs> um, but I'm gonna crack on with this try and get the majority of it done and then um, I'll come back okay so that already looks better really pleased with that so I can get in another kind of set of what I was doing um, I'm also going to pick this today so I can take it home and start drying out some of those seeds. Um, I kind of touched it gently and loads of them fell out. So I don't really want them. I don't know if I know if these will, if they go in the ground, will they just kind of pollinate? I don't really know. Um, so I want to take it off and kind of move it across and we'll see. So I have just quickly removed the blue knitting that was over this just because of the um, sweet corn's actually coming up. So it seems to be going. So I think I'm just going to kind of like leave it. And um, I have de-weeded just around it to give it a little bit more room. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around now and just take all the tomatoes that are ready off. And then hopefully that will let me see what's left, what can be cut off whether some plants just need to come out now altogether, um, whether it's even worth keeping them in the ground. And then I can try and get some of the bindweed out of this area as well. Um, so while we're kind of um, taking the tomatoes off, what I will say is I um, never used to eat tomatoes before because I genuinely didn't like the taste of them. Um, I tried so many times to try so many different types of tomatoes that I bought from the shops and I just couldn't like them. Um, they just didn't really, to me, taste of anything. So I just didn't bother. Um, but since I've been growing my own, um, especially these small ones, they're so sweet and they taste so nice um, that they have almost become a little bit of a favorite um, at the plot. Um, which is really nice really and I think it shows you just how much of a difference growing your own mates. Some of these do look near so what I might do is the ones that look pretty much done um, I will pick them even if they're not completely red just because I know I'll put them on the windowsill in a few days. They will be. Um, they should be fine ones like this so if I'm not here in a few days I don't really want them to go to waste when I know they'll be just fine sitting on the sky. So I'm going to do something slightly different this side. I am still going to do carrots, but in between them, I'm going to do um, a little bit of lettuce um, instead of kale because um, I've got kale um, on the other side and that regenerated itself pretty well last time. So we're going to go with the Amsterdam forcing carrots and the purple dragon so we'll see how the purple dragon go the first set are over the other side of the purple dragons i've done purple haze before and that's what's over um over here but i've never done these ones so um, we'll see how they come up but the amsterdam forcing are really good um, and i get my seeds from premier seeds direct um, and they work really well they're really good value i think 
Um, and then when I take the carrots out, I'm also going to pop in some parsnips. They might be too far gone now, but I might be able to get some for early next year at least. So I just made some small divot. I'm going to start with the Amsterdam forcing. I can't remember which way I did it last time, but I don't think it matters too much. So we're just going to... It says so thinly, but I'm not the best at sewing thinly. So, and given the wind, we may just have to um, thin them out once they've all started to grow. And there are a few patches in the other side. So whether I need to sew, there's something wrong with what I did last time. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, so I have decided in regards to the way that I'm going to be growing thing is to go with a no dig method. So, um, God, I'll state my hands now. Um, I, in my first year, I did try and dig over one of the beds and honestly, I just broke my back out and the, I feel like the weeds came back even worse. Um, so I found No Dig through Charles Dowding um, and decided to give it a go this year. And honestly, I'm so happy I did. I've got less weeds, less work, less back breaking. It's been an absolute dream to be honest with you. So if you're starting off, save yourself some cardboard. Head over to Charles Dowding's YouTube. What I will do is I'll try and find the um, video that started me off with No Dig and I'll link that below. Quick ant removal. God, they're just everywhere. So I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. Okay, so next on the list is to take out the remaining carrots. I am just going to pull them all um, because I think so, because they have been in the ground for so long now. So if they haven't grown, I don't think they're going to, and I want to kind of de weed before I put the parsnips in. Um, so I think I, given the amount of bindweed here, I'm gonna try and take as much out as I can. And then if it's still quite bad, I might just have to um, hoe it a little bit, um, just to get the kind of top bits out really. Um, so I won't be digging, but just try and get out as much as possible. There's, the binary is just absolutely crazy in this section. I do think as well it's because of the amount of rain that we've had. So let's try and get, yeah. Also with this pack, I didn't actually um, thin them out, stupidly. So some of them I can feel are gonna be massive and some of them just aren't. Well, maybe they just aren't ready. Maybe I do just leave them in. I just leave them in to keep going. Maybe I just put one row of parsnips in instead. Don't know what to do. Some of them feel ready. When I took the last lot out, they were amazing. So, which does worry me because that's what apparently carrot fly love. I will do maybe is just take these ones out here and plant the parsnips in that side because that 
they look ready. This is what I can't understand. So let's take these ones out. I'll put in another set of, I'll leave these. I'll put in a row of parsnips here. And then to be fair, it will help with the succession planting. harvested beetroot and my two little baby boos all looking a lot better already actually pleased with that and um, I got rid of a lot of bindweed as well from the tomatoes and from the spring onions and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around quickly um, and give it a really good um, strim and depends obviously on how long my battery will last out for but fingers crossed it should do me enough to tidy it up a, a wee bit okay so I feel like we're in a good position now grass is cut I've taken out as many weeds as I possibly can I've picked what needs to be picked I've put in new seeds I feel like we're on a good little journey so um, I'll try and wait for this grass to dry a little bit before I put it into the uh, compost heap or move it because otherwise it just gets a little bit funny and then um, I'll figure out what to do with here I might even just plant in some flowers for this year um, and see how that goes um, yeah I don't know I might need to put some more cardboard over this if I'm honest rather than doing the polytunnel at this point in time because I am going to get some more um, cardboard soon so I'm thinking cover this back up again and then hopefully that should kind of be gotten rid of the weeds really um because this is far better than it was this is what the other bit of ground does look like if i hadn't have put in any cardboard over it so it's done a good job really good job and this is what i mean by sticking with a no dig just think it's compared from that to that would have been so much hard work to try and get all of that out so yeah i am pleased and i think i will just put a bit more cardboard over the top um, maybe try and pull these top ones out and then put it over and it might work even better and um, what I am going to do is just keep these edges long as you can see it's a little, it's a little bit better this side and then I'm going to make this a pathway because I did have some long grass at the front but as part of the I think it's part of the council contract it always keeps getting cut down so I thought if I keep it here I just really like really long wild grass I don't know why I just think it looks great but I think that's it for today guys I'm gonna get home and watch the women win the World Cup I just know we're gonna do it so um, yeah can't wait uh, to get home and watch that get me England shirt on I didn't want to wear it today in case it got too dirty um, which I'm glad I didn't because this has got a little bit dirty so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the thousand subscribers as well we are still counting as well I just can't believe it thank you all so so much um, and enjoy the rest of your week take care guys bye